Speaking on BBC Politics Live, the Conservative Brexiteer argued his colleagues are quickly coming to the realisation a vote of no confidence in Theresa May in protest of her Brexit proposal should have been called before the summer recess. Mr Bridgen, who admitted to having sent a letter of no confidence in the Prime Minister to the 1922 committee, claimed he suspected bad news were on the way as a number of Brexiteers have allegedly been invited for lunch or dinner at number 10 next week. He said, I am on the record as I put my letter of no confidence in publicly back in July, and I think we will get to the 48 letters. We can't carry on like this, I've done my bit and I would urge colleagues who haven't put letters and who will be absolutely shocked if we are stopped in a customs union, which is in breach of our manifesto pledges we only stood on last year, that they should put their letters in and let's test the Prime Minister's popularity with the party, I think colleagues have been holding back. It would be an indulgence to have a leadership challenge, I don't think it's going to be a coronation if we have a leadership challenge, I think it's going to be a hard-fought election, and I think they wanted to avoid that, but I think if it becomes clear that we are stopping in a customs union, colleagues will come to the conclusion that we should have had this vote before summer recess and dealt with it. Brexit news, Andrew Bridgen claims Theresa May could be ousted this week. Image, BBC Getty, colleagues will come to the conclusion that we should have had this vote before summer recess Andrew Bridgen, but we'll have to deal with it now and it's coming to a head next week, he added. Colleagues are telling me that a lot of Brexiteers are being invited for dinner and lunch at number 10 next week, so I guess there is bad news on the way. The Prime Minister is facing a backlash from cabinet rebels over her backstop plan which they fear will lock Britain into a customs union with Brussels indefinitely. The proposals are set to be presented to EU leaders in Brussels next week. However, ministers including International Trade Secretary Liam Fox have voiced their disapproval already. Speculation is rife that there could be more resignations to add to those of Mr Johnson as Foreign Secretary, as well as Brexit Secretary David Davis, in the wake of the unveiling of Mrs May's Checkers blueprint earlier this year. A number of ministers, including Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt, Brexit Secretary Dominic Robb, Environment Secretary Michael Gove and International Trade Secretary Liam Fox, were said to have raised concerns during the meeting which lasted around an hour and a half. In addition, Work and Pension Secretary Esther McVeigh, who was not at the Downing Street meeting, has refused to endorse the Prime Minister's Checkers blueprint for Brexit. International Development Secretary Penny Mordaunt and the leader of the Commons Andrea Leadsom, who, like Ms McVeigh, both backed leave in the referendum in 2016 were also said to harbour deep concerns.